One of my favorite movies is Facing the Giants. One scene in particular stands out as the coach calls one of his lead players, Brock, to give his very best by doing what is referred to as the death crawl. To crawl on his hands and feet without letting his knees touch the ground while balancing a teammate on his back. Brock had to keep his own inner balance while moving forward. His teammate had to hold balance on his back. The coach blindfolded Brock so any limited beliefs wouldn't get in the way of what he was capable of achieving and cause him to fall short of his very best. He simply chunked down his action steps, one positive step forward at a time. As he fell into the end zone, his coach said, Brock, you just carried a 140 pound man on your arms. Can I count on you? Brock's teammate jumped in and added, Coach, I weigh 160. When you are balanced in your spiritual vision, sense of identity, core values, and beliefs, you literally ignite a reservoir of endless capabilities that will end up surprising you on a daily basis as they take you places you never dreamed you would go. Just as Brock ended up death crawling the entire football field with a 160 pound man on his back, you will find as you practice presence in your day, staying focused on the moments at hand, and what positive step you can take in the now, you will access the capabilities you need to succeed while maintaining inner and outer balance. Your greatest capabilities are uncorked most consistently in the now. Overwhelm occurs with thoughts that wander away from the moment at hand. Take a moment now and breathe in deeply. Release any tension in your body as you exhale. Today, simply practice acute presence to the moment at hand. Whatever you do, be present to the life in front of your face. Focus on what you're capable of doing versus what you're not. Your reticular activating system will tune into whatever your choice of focus is. Be here now. See the people in front of you. Listen to understand rather than to be understood. You will find that you lack nothing in the present moment. It is when you fill your mind with fears, doubts, and worries from what you are capable of handling successfully. If you're talking with a coworker, be present. If you're watching your son or daughter play soccer, be present. Take a moment to try to stand on one foot for one minute. If this is easy for you, try to do it with your eyes closed. Notice how much presence it takes to balance. It's no different in your day-to-day -day life. Balance requires presence. You are most capable in the now.